Dear students, uh, my name is Gulzat Aliyeva and today I will continue our lectures in history of medicine and today I want to suggest for you lecture number two which name is medicine in the ancient east countries. So at first I want to suggest for you lecture plan. Lecture plan consists, it is very big lecture and lecture plan consists of five main uh, parts. Mm, so uh, I want to name these parts. The first part is history of the ancient East. The second medicine of ancient Mesopotamia. The third is medicine of ancient Egypt. Uh, next one is medicine of ancient India and medicine of ancient China. And every part uh, um, includes some uh, topics which can uh, discover for us the essence of this lecture. So I want to start our lecture from the first part, which is history of the ancient East. And um, the first topic of this part is the concept of ancient East. What is, uh, what is ancient East? History of the ancient East covers the uh, history of uh, numerous different peoples and tribes, which earlier than others several thousand years BC, who entered the arena of historical existence and which left behind the most ancient historical monuments. In this sense, they say that the ancient East is the cradle of human culture. Among the first slave states were Mesopotamia, Egypt, India, China, etc. So the second topic of the first two part is special features of healing in the countries of the ancient East. Among the general features of the development of healing in the countries of the ancient world, the main ones are the following. The first, invention of writing from 4th millennium BC and creation of the, of the first medical text, the 3rd millennium BC. The second, formation of two directions of medical practice. The first one is um, empirical heal healing based on the practical experience of the people and the second, cult healing based on religious beliefs. The third one, development of ideas about the origin of diseases associated with nature, moral and ethical, religious and mystical principles and images. The fourth the fourth one is training of physicians. It uh, had uh, it had uh, held by family tradition, education, education in general schools and temples. The fifth creation of the oldest sanitary facilities, development of hygienic skills and traditions. The sixth one is development of a class approach to healing. The seventh is the formation of the foundations of medical ethics. And last one is development of mutual influences and the continuity in the field of, he uh, of healing. <coughs> and the second uh, part of our lecture is named Medicine of Ancient Mesopotamia. So I think uh, this lecture will, uh, will cap by this topic uh, because other topics I will send uh, for you uh, in the form of another um, independent lectures. Because uh, today you will have um, uh, enough uh, big information and this information will be limited by the, uh, by the medicine of ancient Mesopotamia. The first topic of the second part is history of the ancient Sumerians. Country located on downstream of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, from the Armenian mountains in the north and the Persian Gulf in the south, received from the Greeks the, the, the name Mesopotamia, which means country located between two rivers. <coughs> Since ancient times, the, uh, the land of Mesopotamia have, uh, have, uh, have been inhabited by Sumerians. They occupied the, the um, southern Mesopotamia and the, their northern uh, neighbors were Akkadians. 
Uh, Sumerians. The Sumerians associated all the achievements of their civilization with the younger gods or the Anunnaki who once flew from Earth to the planet Nibiru. So you should differ. Um, ancient Sumerians, they believed just only one god who, whose name was uh, Dingir, but their god Dingir, uh, he had a lot of helpers in the form of uh, spiritual Immortal, spirit, immortal spiritual, um, uh, uh, spiritual angels uh, or protectors, and these uh, angels or protectors were named by them, maybe in the form of the younger gods or in the form of Anunnaki. But there was some difference between Dingir and Anunnaki, because uh, Dingir is a creator only creator of everything and everybody. Anunnaki are not uh, creators. They just, uh, they were just uh, protectors, immortal protectors of some phenomena. Maybe uh, they were protectors of some natural phenomena, uh, social phenomena or spiritual phenomena. So uh, they named <coughs> these uh, protectors in the form of younger gods but you should remember they weren't creators they were just um, spiritual protectors we assume that this is uh, what the sumerians call the lemurians for more information about the lemurians you can get the fuja where it comes to ancient egypt medicine and traditional medicine of uh, of the Kyrgyz people the Sumerian civilization is often called the first civilization on Earth, which is in general does not con uh, contradict uh, the other of events established by historical science. It has already been proven that the Sumerian civilization is the most ancient on Earth. Their first civilization arose in general in a break, a brief taken time, not less than 445,000 years ago. Many scientists have uh, fought that and are struggling to solve the secret of the most ancient people of the planet, but the mysteries still remain. This phenomenon could not pass by numerous supporters of the idea that um, extraterrestrial intelligence not only exists, it uh, contacts with humanity, but also most likely created human civilization or even human himself. Sumerians and the UFOs, you know, UFO, unknown flying objects, this is one of the favorite topics of various kinds of uh, ufologists and adherents of the theory of the uh, alien uh, origin of uh, man, mankind. So, you see here some pictures which belong to this uh, topic. So, these pictures were found by scientists and archaeologists. Mm, on the um, clay tablets which belonged to ancient Sumerians. And you see on this picture, you see some aircrafts and flying machines, which is uh, very interesting for modern people. So here I put some <coughs> sources uh, uh, about this information. So there are a lot of investigators, um, uh, investigators uh, believe that the uh, uh, Sumerian, ancient Sumerian civilization uh, had some uh, connection with, um, with um, unf unknown flying objects. Thanks to the free interpretation of the Sumerian myth, the content of which modern people were able to familiarize themselves with after the discovery of the clay tablets of the Sumerians and the decoding of the cuneiform written on them, active ufologists with rich imagination created a completely harmonious, in their opinion, picture. The deciphering of the Sumerian manuscripts shocked modern researchers. Uh, here is a short and incomplete list of the achievements of this unique civilization that uh, existed at the dawn of the development of, uh, of Egyptian civilization. So you should remember, you should know 
uh, Sumerian civilization existed before the ancient Egyptian civilization, uh, before many, many uh, thousand years ago. Also, long before the Roman Empire and even more so ancient Greece uh, civilization, you know, ancient Greece civilization existed before the Roman Empire um, during ancient time. So you should remember we are talking about the time about 6,000 years ago. After deciphering the Sumer uh, Sumerian tables, it became clear that the Sumerian civilization possessed a number of modern knowledge from the field of chemistry, herbal medicine, um, cosmogonies, astronomy, modern mathematics, for example, the Sumerians used the golden ratio, a ternary number system used after the Sumerians only when creating modern computers, use Fibonacci numbers. Can you, explore, can you image during ancient time, uh, about uh, 6,000 years ago, uh, ancient uh, Sumerians uh, used Fibonacci numbers, which can be used just by modern computers. After deciphering the Sumerian tables, uh, so they um, they possessed knowledge in genetic engineering. Uh, this interpretation of this text was given by a number of scientists in the order of the version of the decoding of manuscripts and had a modern state um, structure, a jury and elected bodies of people in modern terminology, deputies, etc. So, um, a lot of achievements uh, which belong to modern science, um, they were discovered by uh, ancient Sumerians. Where could such knowledge come from at that time? Let's try to figure it out, but let's uh, hold some facts about that era 6,000 years ago. During that time, the average temperature on the planet was uh, then several degrees higher than at uh, present. Uh, the effect is called uh, the temperature optimum. More than 6,000 years ago, a people who called themselves Sumerians or descriptively black hats settled in Mesopotamia. Until now, nobody knows where did they come from to these places and why they were forced to leave their ancestral home. So, I am giving this information from this um, source, which is in Russian language. It is only assumed that they, uh, that they sailed to Mesopotamia by sea, swimming, uh, swimming across the Persian Gulf. The Sumerians themselves called the blessed island of Delmen their ancestral home, where their uh, spiritual protectors in the form of young gods or in the form of Anunnaki live in joy and contentment. So you should remember uh, the blessed island of Delmen belongs to modern Kyrgyzstan. So later I will explain about this island. Almost all scholars dealing with Sumerian subjects agree that the Sumerians are a people who came to Mesopotamia. So Sumerians are not um, uh, local people of Mesopotamia, they came from another place. Sumerian texts say that the ancestors of these people descended between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers from some high mountain, but arrived to their new homeland by water since they began to settle, first of all, from the mouth of rivers. The Sumerian epic mentions their homeland, which they considered the ancestral home of all mankind, the island of Dilmen, and also the, the eyes of these people were turned to the east, where the sacred mountain of the gods was lo located. So according to many scientific sources, um, the Maybe this uh, high sacred mountain uh, belongs to Kyrgyz mountain 
and uh, the blessed island of uh, Delmen is the um, ancestral homeland of ancestors um, uh, Manas, the um, magnan magnanimous. Mountain cults played an important role in their uh, religion. From the cultural peoples of Semitic origin, like Egyptians, Jews, Assyrians, and Babylonians, let us now pass uh, to the peoples of the Aryan tribe, uh, from Turkic word, including Kyrgyz word, Aru, which means an excellent form of purity, the purest. The Central Asia can be considered their cradle. So I am giving uh, this information uh, from the book of the German investigator Carl, uh, Carl, uh, Carl Friedrich Becker, The History of the Ancient World. So this um, book is in um, Russian language. <coughs> There are a number of arguments about common origin of ancient Sumerians and ancient Kyrgyz people. Uh, for example, like the modern Kyrgyz people, the ancient Sumerians had Tukmachuluk, a genre of improvisational poetic art, and, um, and the art of Aitish, which is a competition of poets improvisers. So I'm giving this information also from scientific sources. The Sumerians, like the Kyrgyz people, also created epics. The following arguments should be uh, emphasized. <clears throat> in their epic Gilgamesh, it is said that before arriving in Mesopotamia, they live on the territory of Tengerto, uh, especially in the northern part of modern Kyrgyzstan, more precisely on the shore of Lake Isekul. <clears throat> so I am giving this information uh, from uh, um, historical sources in Kyrgyz language. It is interesting to state, during the funeral procession, men mourned the deceased with uh, loud cries, expressing their feelings in the form of poetry. In the event of the death of her husband, the widow screamed at the house and scratched her cheeks. Also, I am giving this uh, information from official historical sources in Kyrgyz language. The Sumerians knew how to respect the deceased and keep his good image in memory. For this reason, they celebrate anniversary of the death, death person, <clears throat> at the commemoration of whom um, lavish feasts were arranged accompanied by <clears throat> equestrian sports competitions. During the holidays, they walked around the ho house and they sang song parting words of the Jaramazan. Also, I am giving this information from uh, official historical sources. The Sumerian language is agglutinative, like all Turkic languages, including Kyrgyz language. An analysis of the Sumerian monuments on the territory of ancient Mesopotamia, including cuneiform texts carried out by numerous scholars, indicates that, the more, that more Sumerian words literally repeat common Turkic, including Kyrgyz words, and sometimes whole phrases. So here you see the sources about this information. There are a lot of such amazing coincidences, more than 400. Uh, so uh, from this um, uh, official historical uh, source, I can uh, suggest for you some words which is common for Sumerians, uh, for, uh, for uh, ancient Sumerians and modern Kyrgyz. For example, the word Ava. In uh, ancient Sumerian language, Ava means older brother. In Kyrgyz language, the same. Ava is older brother in modern Kyrgyz language. In Sumerian language, Az means a little bit. In modern Kyrgyz language, the same. In uh, ancient Sumerian language, Alte means six. In Kyrgyz language, the same. Uh, in Sumerian language, Jarug means lightly. In modern Kyrgyz language, the same. In Sumerian language, Jari means half. In modern Kyrgyz language, the same. In um, Sumerian language, Jer means place or land. In modern Kyrgyz language, the same. So I told you 
um, there are a lot of such amazing coincidences, more than four, 400. The Sumerians themselves called their homeland Kengir, the land of reliable owners, the land of the masters of civilization. Here we want to draw your attention to the mysterious consonants of Tengirto, the name of uh, Tianshan mountain system in Kyrgyz language. So, you know, you are getting education in Kyrgyzstan and more than 99% of the uh, Kyrgyz territory um, occupied by Tianshan mountain system. So, Tianshan is a, a Chinese word. In Kyrgyz language, um, it is Tengirto. So, before um, Russians, uh, when um, uh, before um, occupation of Kyrgyzstan by Russians, Kyrgyz people named this uh, mountain system Tengerto. But um, during this occupation, uh, Russian in investigators um, they named this um, mountain system in uh, in Chinese language uh, Tianshan. But you should remember, in Kyrgyz language, this uh, mountain system is Tengirto. So it is consonants, mysterious consonants consonants between Kengir and Tengirto. The second um, Kengir and the toponym Kogur or Kongur, a mountain range in the Kongur Mustak uh, ridge in the Chinese part of the Pamirs, located in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous uh, Region, which is accurate by Kyrgyz people. So um, there are a lot of peaks uh, which, um, which, which are connected with the word of Kongur. Kongur Peak, Kongur Tobe, Mustakata, Kongur Mustak, uh, etc. Ridges or peaks, which are more than 7,700 uh, uh, meters. The foundation of knowledge in mathematics was laid in the Sumeria, in ancient Sumeria, calculating the areas of complex shapes, extraction of the root, solution of equations with two and three unknowns, and even information about the golden uh, ratio and Fibonacci numbers. Uh, Schumer scientists knew elements of uh, computational mathematics and informational information coding, sciences, the discovery of which in the middle of the 20th century led to the development of cybernetics. The Sumerian numbering system was based on a combination of numbers 6 and 10 and was called sexagesimal. We still use it. So here you see number system of ancient uh, Sumerians. You should remember numbers, writ uh, writing, etc. cultural, very important cul cultural elements were invented by ancient Sumerians. Uh, Sumerians the first to learn how to make colored uh, glass and bronze. The first began to combine gold with, uh, with silver, bronze and bone. They were invented the wheel and cuneiform writing, formed the first professional army, uh, drafted the first legal codes, invented arithmetics. Uh, the priest calculated the length of the year. Pay your attention. Uh, ancient Sumerians calculated uh, one year equals 365 days, 6 hours, 15 minutes, 41 seconds. It is so much uh, interesting information and important information. This, this discovery was kept secret by the priest and was used to strengthen power over the people, uh, complication of religious and mystical rituals, and uh, organization of state leadership. Uh, priests and magicians used knowledge about the movement of the stars, the moon, the sun, about the behavior of animals for divination and the foresight of the future. In Sumer first appeared the cosmogony and cosmology. You know, cosmogony is a, a science about uh, beginning or origin of the universe, and cosmology is a science about um, uh, about the structure of the universe. The first collection of proverbs and aphorisms appeared in Sumer 
For the first time, there were literary uh, debates. The first book catalog appeared here. The first money received the uh, circulation, silver shekels in the form of uh, ingots by, uh, by weight. Uh, taxes were first introduced. Uh, the first laws were passed and social reforms were carried out. Medicine appeared in, uh, in the ancient Sumer. For the first time, attempts were made to achieve peace and harmony in society. It was in ancient Sumer that the first schools, the first historians, the first uh, almanac of the farmer had, uh, had arisen. Medical uh, procedures were uh, described in special reference books uh, which contained information about um, hygiene rules, about operations, for example, about the removal of cataracts, on the use of alcohol for disinfection during surgical operations. So, um, before we talked about um, cultural and scientific achievements of ancient uh, Sumer, so the second uh, topic of the second part of our lecture uh, is named the first rudiments of medical care. So, now I want to uh, give for you some information about the medicine of ancient Sumer. Medicine in Mesopotamia was religious and mystical. Since the functions of doctors in Sumerian society were performed by priests, the priest offered ways to restore health, passed on the secrets of rejuvenation and uh, longevity, demanded the observance of uh, preventive measures and the veneration of various uh, deities. The concept of the causes of disease in ancient Mesopotamia can be div divided into three main categories. The first, associated with the violation of ritual, uh, legal, moral, and other uh, prescriptions ad uh, adopted in the community. For example, he approached a married woman or he approached approach the priestess of his god within 31 days he will recover and live the second category associated with natural phenomena and lifestyle one should not uh, think that diseases among the peoples of ancient mesopotamia were associated only with evil spirits they were also explained by the use of unhealthy food bathing in dirty river, contact with uh, dirt and sewage. And last category associated with religious beliefs, um, for example, hand of God, breath of an uh, evil spirit, embrace Alamashtu, etc. It was believed, for example, that the storm demon uh, Pazuzu sent headaches and nausea, and the terrible old woman Lamashtu, who wanders around the city at night and throws herself at children, uh, spreads a childish fever. Lamashtu was uh, portrayed as a slovenly old woman with the, pa uh, with the paws of a bird of prey and the head of a grimacing lion. The protection from the um, uh, <clears throat> aforementioned uh, witchcraft was quite um, adequate. Women wore small figurines uh, of demons around their necks or put them under the uh, threshold uh, of their houses in order to scare away demons with their own image. And the spellcaster read magic texts which were in such a um, multitude that for their uh, purposeful search special catalogs were created under the sections get rid of the spell, headache, source throat, get rid of evil spirits with the help of uh, flower uh, water, etc. 
By the middle of the um, second millennium BC in ancient Sumer, two main directions of healing were formed. The first, Asutu, in Akkadian, Asutu means the art of healers, whose representatives were called Asu. In Akkadian language, Asu means knowing water. Um, a person who knows um, features of uh, qualities and features of water. And the second direction of healing, um, Asiputu, in uh, Akkadian uh, language, Asiputu means the art of spellcasters, whose adepts were called Asipu. In Akkadian language, Asipu means um, conjurer. The cast of Priest doctors can, uh, consist, consist to, uh, can, consisted of three groups. The first consisted of Baru, who first of all were prophets and fortune tellers, and in their free time, using their uh, superpower, they could make a um, diagnosis. The second group consist, consisted of the Asipu, who were spell experts. They were engaged in expelling evil spirits from the sick, conducting special magic rituals, and uh, returning the protection of the gods to people. And representatives of the latter group, Asu and Yazu, were engaged in real medical practice. Traditional medicine in Mesopotamia is rooted in the primitive communal order and is closely related to the magic of the priests. The practical magic of the Sumerian priest was based on the knowledge of the forces of nature, which gave them the ability to control weather conditions and astronomical phenomena. The Sumerians uh, worshipped uh, the four elements symbolizing the four cardinal points. Therefore, the cross was the main subject for uh, magical rituals. Another main aspect in Sumerian magic was the ability to influence human physiology and human psyche by the method of preparation and application of various herbs, ointments, incense, using water from special sources and reproducing sounds that create sound uh, vibration. On the vessels found in the territory of ancient Mesopotamia, images of the gods of healing and the torso of snakes, which are known to be a symbol of medicine, have been preserved. In most cases, the heads of snakes were adorned with jugs made of various metal alloys, which indicated the use of um, such vessels for uh, treating patients. The Asipu caster linked the emergence of diseases with supernatural forces. The hand of a particular god, demon or ghost, evil spell, spells, etc. According to Sumerian concepts, a sick person was a sinner. It was assumed that he did something that the society equated with sin. For example, he committed a robbery, uh, defiled the water source, kept water in a dirty vessel, etc. In this case, God left the guilty person and evil demons took possession of his body. Sickness was the consequence of committing sin. The Sumerians believed that one of the main reasons for the appearance of evil demons was infection. A sick person infected with evil spirits, they believed they should be untouchable so that others would not be infected from him. The uh, breach of isolation was seen as transmission of infection. Consequently, the Sumerians pointed, uh, pointed to the spiritual, uh, spiritual, uh, spiritual nature of the infection but em uh, emphasized its hygienic roots. Asipi knew and used not only spells but also predictions 
In fact, they were diagnostic doctors. The soothsayers established the cause of the disease by the position of the stars, the flight of birds, the entrails of sacrificial animals, the exact exact date of birth of the patient and uh, the onset of his illness. Symptoms were considered as signs that determine it, its out, uh, outcome. The surviving tablet, tablets of the um, spellcasting school describe the procedure for this landmark examination at a fa uh, fairly high professional level. Doctor carefully examined the patient, checked the body temperature in several places, studied the state of blood vessels, uh, measured the pulse. The magical elements of the treatment consisted of uh, special spells. Certain symbolic acts were used. Knots were tied. Um, uh, figurines of evil spirits uh, responsible for the disease were molded and destroyed. However, not only a certain sequences of magical actions were strictly observed, but also the uh, recipe for the preparation of medicines. The main method of healing the Asipu was the casting of spells. Magic numbers played an important role in Asipu rituals. The art of Asipu lay in the field of psychotherapy today. However, this art also hit medicinal treatment. Medicine had been closely related to astrology. In predicting the disease, great importance was um, attached to the position of the luminaries. The second, Agoria, a prediction for the birds, and Existesia, fortune-telling by the entrails of animals. As mentioned above, the main method of treatment for the Asipu doctors was a spell. Spell is a type of ritual and uh, magical speech, direct appeal to the object of uh, magical influence in an uh, imperative form, demands, orders, uh, motives, requests, pleas, warnings, prohibitions, the threats. Spell can be an independent verbal, uh, verbal ritual. And these are, for example, greetings like be healthy, maybe wishes of harm, uh, curses or references like go to hell. Uh, also, a sentence during a ritual or practical action as well as an integral part of more complex verbal forms, um, witchcraft, um, Cons uh, conspiracies, good wishes, uh, ritual songs, etc. Spells are close to psychological uh, affirmations, uh, religious prayers and mantras. With the help of spells, people try to achieve the uh, fulfillment of desires uh, that they cannot fulfill in the usual way to influence the weather, harvest, etc. Unlike prayers, which are only requests to God or to spirits, a spell is intended to inform, enforce a desire. In Western Europe, during the Middle Ages, incantations were usually pronounced in Latin. The word abracadabra, which in modern English and Russian means nonsense, comes from a medieval spell. Spells of the Asipu doctors resembled the method of the modern Japanese doctor Masaru Yimoto, famous for experiments aimed at proving that water supposedly has the ability to perceive information from the environment. The main method of proof is impact on water, spoken and written words, and studying the structure of crystallization of such water, which, according to his statements, change depending on the meaning of these words. Since 1999, Dr. Masari Moto had been publishing the book Message of Water, containing photographs of crystals with an explanation of what information was sent to the water.
In his experiments, Dr. Masaru Imoto was trying to prove that water can absorb, store and transmit human thought, emotions and any external, uh, external information like music, prayers, uh, conversations, events, etc. For example, Dr. Masari Imota uh, conducted an ex experiment with uh, uh, sprouting rice. He took one glass uh, to one room and every day said to this glass, I love you. So, look this uh, picture. And he took the second glass to another room and constantly said to this glass, I hate you. After a while, the rice in the first glass uh, continued to germinate and was in good condition. So look, look at this picture. The rice in the second glass went back, all covered with black mold and uh, had a bad smell. More than 80% uh, of the human body is water. So, according to Dr. Um, Masari Yimota, like the rice, which was used in the experiment of Dr. Masari Yimota, a person's development and his health depend on words a person receives from other people. To see what the information recorded by the water looks, uh, looks like, Dr. Imota Masaru photographed the frozen water. To obtain photographs, a drop of water is placed in petri dishes and sharply uh, cooled in a freezer. After two hours, the cups are transferred to a special device consisting of a refrigerator, a microscope and a camera. Water crystals are um, viewed at uh, minus 5 degree with 200 uh, to 500 magnif uh, magnification. Pictures of the most characteristic uh, uh, crystal were taken. So here you see these uh, crystals, this, um, the result of this experiment. So it is a um, crystal of water to which uh, doctor uh, said uh, thank you. It is the crystal of water uh, to which doctor uh, said, you make me sick, I will kill you. Dr. Imota Masaru argued that the shape of the ice crystals formed during this uh, various depending on the emotional color of the perceived information. Positive thoughts and feelings, harmonious mel uh, melodies give rise to symmetrical, beauty uh, beautiful uh, patterns like this picture. Negative thoughts, uh, negative, negative words, uh, cha chaotic and um, shapeless with rage edges, ugly patterns like in, on this uh, picture. In addition to a kind word and an affectionate look, what did the ancient Sumerian doctors treat? During ex 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 excavations of one of the oldest Sumerian cities, Nippur, 160 kilometers from modern Baghdad, in 1889, a cuneiform tablet containing uh, 15 recipes was found. The text of the cuneiform tablet was recorded in the Sumerian language at the end of the 3rd millennium BC and is the oldest extant medical text. Most of the texts that present the medical field are compiled according to a sign sample. Each tablet consists of a series of consecutive entries. As a rule, they begin with standard formulations of two types. The first, if a person is sick and he has such and such symptoms, or if a person suffers from such and such pain uh, in the head or other parts of the body. The following is a detailed uh, listing of symptoms using stable terminology and a description of the patient's uh, subjective feelings. The diagnosis is uh, accompan accompanied by detailed instructions to the doctors how from what to pre uh, prepare medicines, in what order to give them to the patients and what procedures to accompany 
which entry ends with a kind of conclusion he will recover or a warning that one should not count on a successful outcome of the disease. Practical doctors also knew and used mass, uh, massage uh, animals, uh, poultices uh, and compresses. Recommended rest or a special diet. Uh, prescribed a medication course of development. Uh, of it is clear from the text of the of this uh, tablet that the doctors of Sumer used in the in their practice mostly herbal medicines, mustard, uh, fir, pine, uh, thyme, plum, pear, fig, willow. Lacanary. Lacanary means mana from heaven, etc. The composition of the drugs included oil, natural asphalt resin, uh, table salt, also animal products like milk, internal organs of uh, water snakes, uh, turtle shell, wool, etc. Summer, has, uh, summer had long developed strict uh, hygienic traditions based on the collective experience of the people don't drink water from unclean dishes. Don't stretch out uh, unwashed hands to the gods. Limit yourself to a certain kind of food, etc. The most um, stringent uh, requirements were imposed on the priest. In front of the stage of God, the uh, Sumerian priest had to appear, uh, to appear throw, thoroughly washed and clean shaven from head to toe to toy one of the reasons of this custom was the elementary prevention of lice the treatment of asutu was aimed at um, elevation uh, specific symptoms of the disease stop fever and eliminate, uh, eliminate edema for healing were used various herbs roots vegetables onions, uh, garlic, uh, cucumber, peas, etc. Uh, minerals, oil, animal products like uh, honey, uh, wax, uh, fish oil, birds, excrement, sheep, etc. Medicines were boiled with uh, honey, beer, vinegar, water and administrated with animals. Used in the form of uh, ointments, powders, pills, tampons. Uh, in Sumerian language, a physician means um, no, uh, no, uh, knowledgeable oil or no, uh, knowledgeable uh, water. So it means uh, a person who knows um, uh, features and qualities of oil or water. By the way, the Sumerians can be considered the inventors of the medical seal or stamp. Strictly speaking, all free people or Sumer um, wore a stone card seal or stamp on a lace. When compiling important documents, an uh, imprint was placed on the wet clay tablet, replacing the signature. True, it was, um, it was not a round piece we are used to, but the result of uh, rolling the entire cylinder, uh, that is a rather impressive uh, rectangle. On one of the tablets dated to the 24th century BC, there is uh, Ephraim, the city of Lagash, which depicts imprint of the seal of the doctor or Lugal Edin with medical instruments and vessels for medicine. So here you see this stamp or this seal. In pharmacy, the Sumerians achieved unprecedented uh, results for their time. This is evidenced by the world's uh, first uh, pharmacopoeia, uh, compiled in uh, three, uh, uh, three uh, uh, thousand uh, fifty hundred BC by the healer Lulu on small clay uh, plates. This unique work was um, deciphered only in 1956, but many of the terms and procedures described in, in it are still the subject of uh, controversy.
According to this document, the Sumerians already in the 4th millennium BC were known such chemical and uh, technical processes as uh, filtration, dissolution, uh, grinding, boiling, extraction, uh, distillation, drying, evap evaporation. Certain uh, pharmaceutical technologies were created on their basis. Medicine were prepared mainly from local herbs and some animal products, fats, blood, milk, bone, and small amounts of minerals. The most popular of the latter at the time were sodium uh, uh, chloride and potassium nitrate. From animal materials were used milk, snake skin, uh, tortoise shell. The Sumerians had no equal in their knowledge of me medicinal herbs. The concept of medicine and herbs, medicinal, medicinal herbs, were even denoted by one word. The Sumerians knew about uh, medicinal plants with a laxative effect, um, diuretics, um, uh, antiusives, uh, immo immunomodulators, and analgesis. The Sumerians used several thousand types of med medicinal plants, among them cassia, uh, myrtle, caraway seeds, parts of uh, crushed seeds, parts of roots, branches, bark, willow, gum, pear, fig tree, date palm. They used them all as fresh and dry mushed form. Herbal ingredients had been soaked or boiled in liquids, mixed with water, beer, vinegar, honey, or tallow. Some medicines, some medicines were um, swallowed, others were prepared as um, uh, super, uh, suppository, uh, suppositors or administered uh, with an enema, and still others were uh, wrapped into the skin in the form of uh, lotions and uh, ointments. There were also um, prescription drugs in the arsenal of the Sumerian doctors. Alcohol and narcotic substances were used only for special purposes as a rule during surgical operation and for the treatment of mental illness. The recipes for their preparation were kept sacred and were the privilege of the temple priest. It was the um, that request from medical practitioners were sent. Sumerian healers were uh, well aware of the uh, antimicrobial properties of silver, so they recom uh, recommended that um, their patients store water in silver vessels. Jugs and walls were often made from an al uh, alloy of this metal with gold. In this case, the water received uh, two, three times more silver ions. It was uh, practiced in ancient Sumer and um, the immersion of silver coins um, in a copper jug of water. The ions of these metals several times increased the efficiency of the uh, aqueous solution, which caused the death of microorganisms. Sumerian water vessels were made in such a way that the lower part consisted of, the, um, of one metal and the upper part of the other. The combination were different, copper and iron, copper and gold, copper and silver and others. By dissolving lemon juice in water, infused in a vessel made of copper and silver, the Sumerians received a drug called um, Tiarkam. The famous antemina vase from Lagash, the bottom of which is made of copper and the upper part of silver, only confirms the hypothesis of the widespread use of aqueous uh, infusions in the medical practice of the Sumerians. In this case, they received a rejuvenating uh, elixir. 
by adding wine or lemon juice to the water of such uh, a jug, doctors only enhance it, its uh, healing properties. This vase retained an inscription indicating that the water containing in the vessel was a medicine used for medical purposes. It turns out that the ancient Sumerians could not only prepare some kind of medicinal preparation, but also create a special device that um, enrich in with the uh, ions of some trace elements, the properties of which they had uh, already studied. Scientists of the Lomonosov uh, Moscow State University conducted several e experiments. Uh, they found that filling the vessels with the water is uh, accompanied uh, by the transition of iron and copper ions uh, into the liquid. In physics, uh, this phenomenon is called electrocorrhesion. This process uh, can be catalyzed by ordinary fruit juices containing citric or ascorbic uh, acid or vinegar. Such aqueous solution of copper and iron uh, enriched with food acids are known in medicine as agents rec uh, recommended for the treatment of anemia. Scientists came to the conclusion that, they, uh, that it was they who were used in the medical practice of the Sumerians. The demand, or the demand for this drug was explained by the uh, peculiarities of the life of ancient people, um, frequent bloody clashes, uh, hunting injuries, and uh, hard physical labor, often leading to uh, leading to uh, exhaustion and blood loss. In the Middle East, the tra tradition of preparing medicines in this way is still uh, preserved. Thus, in ancient uh, Sumer, medicines were made from plants and minerals and then mixed with uh, liquid uh, solvents, depending on the method of application. Oral preparations were dissolved uh, in uh, wine, beer or honey and those powders uh, that were administered uh, through the um, rictam using an enema were mixed with uh, vegetable oil. The word alcohol it, it plays such an important role in disinfection and is also used as a basis for many medicines uh, comes from from the Arabic word uh, kohl, uh, which is which in the uh, which in turn is uh, derived from the Akkadian word kuhlu. Liver dummies found by archaeologists indicate that medicine was taught in special schools using models of human organs made from clay for training. Apparently, the Sumerians had a deep knowledge of anatomy since religious rites required a complex uh, dissection of sacrificial animals and from here it is only one step to human anatomy. Several cylindrical seals and clay tablets depict the following picture. A person lies on a kind of uh, surgical table surrounded by a group of gods or people. We know from epics uh, that the um, Sumerians and their Mesopotamian uh, successors were concerned with the issues of life, illness and death. Some people, for example, king of Erech, Gilgamesh, were looking for a tree of life or a certain mineral, a stone that could give eternal youth. In written sources, there are uh, also stories about um, resur um, resurrection um, from the dead, and especially among the go uh, gods. They took the corpse from the hook, and one with the grass of life and the second with the water of life, her body was touched. Imana gets up. Maybe we are talking about some, we can only um, speculate of this score, ultra-modern methods uh, that were known to the Sumerians and were used in such attempts at um, revitalization. 
The fact that the Sumerians knew uh, about radioactive substances and used them to treat certain diseases is confirmed by a drawing uh, on a cylinder seal dating from the earliest period of Sumerian civilization. It um, undoubtedly depicts a man lying on a special bed. Uh, his face is protected by a mask and he is exposed to, to some kind of radiation. Ahipu explained the unsuccessful outcome of uh, his healing as the will of the gods. The prestige of Ahipu healing had always remained high. The Asus rep reputation was more vulgar uh, vulnerable. Uh, failures uh, were attri uh, attributed to the doctors. Thus, Asu uh, gradually lost its, their position. The structure of the human body in ancient Mesopotamia was not known. No uh, autopsies were performed. The obst uh, obstetrics were developed, which women were engaged in. It was allowed after the death of women in labor to save a living baby by caesarean section. One of the sources for the study of medicine in Mesopotamia uh, is the code of laws of King Hammurabi, 18th century BC, a wise and despotic ru uh, ruler. It is a large stone pillar with a height of 2 meters 25 centimeters. The entire uh, surface of this pillar is covered with text, a collection of uh, articles in the code of law written in cuneiform. Articles 18 and 19 of King Hammurabi are dedicated to conditions of the, of the doctor's activity and his uh, judicial responsibility. For successful treatment, the doctor was an, uh, entitled uh, to a good reward for failure a fine. The high payment for healing was associated with a great risk uh, of this uh, profession. Reward for equal for equal, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The approach to healing was class. The transfer of medical knowledge was carried out only in a narrow circle of initiates. The training of doctors was carried out in traditional family schools and in temples. There were um, shelters for the incurable. Dear students, it is enough information for this lecture. Next time we will continue and next uh, time I will combine um, history of uh, medicine uh, which will uh, consist um, information about history of uh, medicine of ancient Egypt, ancient India and ancient China. So thank you for your attention. Uh, see you next time. Goodbye.